Hey howdy, hey guys, welcome back to a new Star Wars Saturday. Before I get into the video, I want to ask you this question. How, do you only watch, if you watch Star Wars, do you only watch the films, or the Clone Wars TV series, or both? If you only watch the movies, not the shows, you're going to be a little bit confused on this. The video for today is, if you've not read the title, it's How Did Darth Maul Survive the Fall and Getting Cut in Half by Obi-Wan Kenobi. For those of you who only watch the films, you're thinking, Maul's dead. How did he survive? Uh, he comes back in the Clone Wars, Star Wars Rebels, and the Han Solo movie. Go watch my Han Solo review movie as proof. Anyway, this video will explain how Maul survived. For even though you Clone Wars fans and Star Wars Rebels fans, if, even though we know Maul survived, how did he survive? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how. Let's get into this, shall we? In The Phantom Menace, Obi-Wan and his master Qui-Gon duel the returned Sith Lord Darth Maul and Naboo. As they fought, Maul managed to separate Master from Apprentice, letting Qui-Gon push an offensive against him to tire him out. Once he dismantled the Jedi Master piece by piece, Maul hit the Jedi Master Qui-Gon in the face with his lightsaber, then fatally stabbing him in the abdomen. Seeing this, Obi-Wan, overwhelmed with anger and hatred for the Sith, attacked Maul, putting up a really good fight, even managing to cut Maul's saber in half. However, Maul retaliated, delivering a massive force push the Apprentice's direction, knocking him down a nearby reactor shaft. However, Obi-Wan clung to life as Maul stood above him gloating. In a final effort to save himself while Maul stood gloating, Obi-Wan focused, leaping out of the reactor shaft, grabbing his master's fallen weapon, and delivered a strike that literally cut Maul in half. As the Sith fell down the reactor shaft, he was filled with a hatred he could only dream of prior to this. Maul felt the biggest connection to the dark side in his life, which willed his body to live despite such a severe injury he just faced. Using the force, Maul grabbed an air vent that sent him into a garbage container, which was transported onto his ship. Barely breathing and holding it together, Maul focused on his hatred and the dark side, specifically his hatred for Obi-Wan and shame of failure to keep himself from blackening out. Eventually, he was dumped on the planet Lotho Minor, which served as the galaxy's junkyard. Kind of like Legends, Rax's Prime. Using the last of his strength, Maul created spider legs out of trash and junk metal as he crawled around the planet. Over 12 years would pass, and over that time, Maul fed off of rodents on Lotho Minor. And only his pain and hatred keeping him alive. Out of those 12 years, that very thing eventually would be what tore Maul apart. During the Clone Wars, he was completely broken mentally, animal-like. During the Clone Wars, he was discovered by his own brother, Savage Opress, and he did not recognize him due to his insanity. They fought for a little bit until Savage was able to convince Maul to follow him. Maul was then taken to Dathomir, their home planet, and restored by Mother Towson, getting rid of his spider legs and giving him natural mechanical legs. Following this, and being fully restored by his mother and brother, Maul and Savage would once again wreak havoc across the galaxy, even taking revenge on Obi-Wan brutally by killing a dear friend of his, or love interest, in Duchess Satine. Maul even rivaled his former master Darth Sidious, who believed Maul to be dead as much as we were. But that is the story on how Darth Maul survived his injuries and the fall, and how he gets his spider legs in the Clone Wars. The Clone Wars has also returned, by the way. I wanted to announce that. 
After being cancelled back in 2012 or 2013 when Disney bought Lucasfilm, this year, just a month ago, they finally announced that Dave Filoni and Disney were going to bring back the Clone Wars and finish the war that was left unfinished. Hopefully we will see Darth Maul as he tries to bring his mother back. We also get to see that in the Son of Dathomir comic. But whatever happens in the remaining 12 episodes is up to Dave Filoni. But I cannot wait till the series finale to the upcoming Siege of Mandalore, which many of us Star Wars fans have been anticipating for a long time, where Maul duels the former Jedi apprentice, Ahsoka Tano. I hope you guys enjoyed, and comment down below, what did you think? Are you surprised that Maul survived? Do you only watch the films? Do you watch the Clone Wars? Do you watch both? Leave your thoughts and comments down below. Anyway, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Your viewership means the world, and may the Force be with you.